That seafood tastes sweet, sweet, salty, briny, the caviar. Yeah, what's in your mouth? Wow, that's it. <laughs> element of the sea. Truly an element of the sea. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. <laughs> so glad you decided on what you want to have to drink. Um, um, do you want to try that smoky ring? No, no that's too uh -huh. much. I've already had two drinks. I'm kind of. I'm gonna have. I need uh, to sit. Coke. I'm gonna have Coke Zero. Coke Zero, so. yeah. Okay. Just water. Yeah. yeah. What do you call this again? The egg? The first chicken? Nest. Yeah. The first nest. You can taste that smoke. It's infused. So good. This has gotta be the perfect devil egg I've ever had. Okay. Don't think missing. Maybe a few shrimp inside. <laughs> mm, okay. But then that'd be the element of the sea. But perfect. Okay, so now we have the crab cones. These are twisted one of our bites. Mm -hmm. huh? From the element of the ice. So there you have the Kipsy wonton skin. Inside we have two types of crab meat. We have the king Alaskan crab meat and lump crab meat. To the top you're going to recognize some avocado puree and microgreens with some nori. And way down to the bottom of the spoon, we have our wasabi root. Now, there's a special way to eat this lovely crab cone. You need to start from the bottom, go to the top. Because as you notice, you don't eat to the top in Wonderland, you eat at the bottom. So when you bite this crab from the this crab bone from the bottom, you're gonna get a little kick of wasabi. But soon after, you're gonna find that the meat and the avocados are balancing your palate. All right. So I have a crunchy, crunchy bite with a crispy crab bone. Okay. Fantastic. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, the fun part. Oh yeah. So you get the wasabi. Got the crab. That's a nice flavor. It's not too salty. Uh -huh. And the wasabi on it tastes really good. Yeah. The wasabi's not too hot. Not too cold. Alright. Try good. Alright guys. So this is called the chicken and the eggs. Okay. So we have here some organic roasted chicken breast, some creamy mashed potatoes, lunch carrots, bok choy, and chicken skin. But something is missing. The eggs. Remember, we use some eggs for the bird nest. Right? <laughs> so now we have to create some eggs for you. So this egg was created with cauliflower and butternut squash. Oh. You will be surprised of the lovely flavors you're going to get. Better than the regular chicken and eggs. Wow. On the side, you have a spinach. And I have a lovely chicken au jus to complement this lovely chicken okay. and eggs. Wow. Guys, nice. have a big bite with your chicken and eggs. Yes. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. We're sharing. <laughs> okay, so we have this. Mm -hmm. He mentioned about the mashed potatoes. Uh huh. That looks good. I love the I love the 
The gravy is wonderful. The chicken is nice and moist. Uh huh. Mashed potatoes are nice. Nice and creamy. There's a different taste in there. But it complements the chicken. So yeah. you have you have to taste this. Okay. It actually tastes like a uh, like a sunny side up egg. Okay. Yeah. It's very good. Oh, Here we have our granzino. Granzino is a Mediterranean sea bass, a very shy fish. At the bottom we have the uh, bass materials cooked with some bok choy and a coconut milk. And on the top we have our custard bread. But where's the fish? As I told you, it's a very shy fish. So she's somewhere there hiding between the bread and the rice. We're gonna find her. Then, to complement this lovely dish, I have for you a tamarind sauce. Oh, nice. Very nice. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. I'm gonna go ahead. What's this? That oh, the halibut. Yes. All right, guys. <laughs> so now I have for you finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Yes. Remember Nemo in the back? <laughs> yeah. So we have our halibut here cooked in clear paper. In the center, there you're gonna find your snake white fish. Now, the reason why we kept this in a bag is to have all the different flavors of the mushroom trapped inside here. So when you open up to free up this aroma, you're going to get a lovely scent of the ocean. Now we use different mushrooms inside of this one. We have the shiitake, the pimini, and the oyster mushrooms in there with some potato ball. So I'm going to now free this lovely dish. Really hard Right. Wow. And you can smell it. Oh, yeah. Assorted mushrooms. Mm, can you smell it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Enjoy, guys. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Look at there. Oh my God. Look at that, too. Man, you can really smell that. It's got like the herbs. Yes, you can smell uh, the herbs. You can smell the mushrooms. Mushrooms. Oh my gosh. There. And that'll make the fish really juicy. Okay, so you ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. People in TV land, <laughs> <laughs> they want to taste it. What's the mushroom with mushroom sauce? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Creamy mushroom sauce. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Oh, Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you. Okay, look at there. I put about another how many calories? On? <laughs> we're on vacation. Okay. Don't worry about calories later. Yeah, we're on vacation. No calories here. We can work it out later. Take all the mushrooms. Okay. All right. All right. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That looks good. It kind of smells like gumbo. It does. <laughs> Reaction. It takes so long to get on my fork. Oh, they're so good. It's so good. They're so light. Mm. If you're not a mushroom eater. Okay. But this is very potent. Okay. Very strong mushroom flavor. Gotcha. But I like it. All right. It's very good. Very light. Okay. So I forgot to mention, this is halibut. Delicious halibut. 
was very good. Alibi. All right, so we're gonna have dessert, and they're gonna bring the road to us. And if you watched one of our early videos, we were on Symphony of the Seas uh, in Wonderland. We had the royal dessert, and let me tell you, it was outstanding. So I'll show you the royal on Harmony of the Seas. Whoa. Now that's something like out of Alice in Wonderland. Video. Oh, uh, yeah. Woo. Look at this. Guys, from the element of the dream, I have for you the forbidden apple and the world. The world. The world. So, you're going to do the apple first. So, the reason why we call it forbidden apple because really, we all know it's not an apple. So, I'm going to cut this one and show you guys what's inside it. <laughs> oh. Ah. So, the stem was made from, the stem of the apple was made from chocolate. Inside, we have a mixed mousse cake, coconut ganache, and a lemon curd. Coconut ganache? Yes. On the outside, we have some white berries, and we have brown sugar crumble and frozen yogurt. Oh, and nice. And now the world. The world. This world contains 80% Belgium chocolate. And inside, we have a lot of treaties in there. But for me to get inside of there, you're going to enjoy liquid chocolate, not hard chocolate again. All right? Oh, there she goes. The world. Look at it. Ah. So inside right. this beautiful room, you're gonna find some creme brulee down below there, uh, chocolate mousse, salted caramel ice cream. You have the warm caramel sauce with some rice krispies on the outside and some berries. Did you say rice krispies? Rice krispies. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> they did it again. <laughs> oh, boy. Gotta do it. Go for some of the world. That caramel sauce. Very oh nice. Oh my god. Very nice. That chocolate ganache. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Going deep.